Hello and what's going on guys, Misty Gaming here and welcome back to another Minecraft video where today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Japanese house in Minecraft. So yeah, let's just get on to the video because I know that's why you clicked on it anyway and don't lie. I know. I totally know. Now what you want to do is make a 11 by 12 frame using strip spruce logs and also oak wood slabs so now what you want to do is go to one of the 11 block side ones and break the middle three then replace them with stairs and now on the side of those stairs put the spruce logs over here then at the back of the stairs make a line like so And also at the back and now on this corner place a strip spruce log and then get your cobblestone put two over here and also one spruce log over there and now repeat the same thing on the other side and for the middle place a strip spruce log over here and make sure it's facing horizontal because that's going to be the doorway and now for the back portion place one over here and also one over here and make sure you're facing upright and place three cobblestone and one in the middle and also three cobblestone and get out of your horse sorry but you need to get out There you go and yeah I'm just gonna show you this side first before and then you just copy it on the other side over there so now what you want to do is place a cobblestone over here place a strip spruce log two cobblestone over here one strip spruce log and also one cobblestone and just repeat the same thing on the other side So now after that, now you want to make the interior. So for the interior, what you want to do is get your oak stairs over here and, pay, and place them like this on the opposite direction, opposite of the, the first one you made. Then get your spruce wood and just fill the sides of the interior like so. Then I'll get your daylight sensor and another daylight sensor over here. And I also forgot one thing: you need carved pump. I mean jack o' lanterns. Now break the block over here and place a jack o' lantern like so. Then now what you want to do is get your campfire and put it out. That's why you needed the bucket. And yeah, get your. Oh wait, we already have. Wait, no. There you go. And also get a dark oak trap door. And place them like this. Wait, no, not like that. But like this. And get your dark oak trap door and place them on the top. It should look like something like a table, like, like this, I think. And then now get your oak wood slabs, like like this and just place them here on the floor so right on the corners of this like rectangular cobblestone i don't know what you call that just place a i mean four blocks of stripped oak like so like it should act like pillars for the walls then now uh, go in the middle and place three and get your birch door. Well, I chose birch door because, well, it's not, wait, wait. It's because, well, it looks like the paper doors in Japan, like so. And then just get your bone block and yeah. Then now what you want to do is connect those two pillars at the top, like so. 
using the strip spruce. Then now, get your bone block and make sure they're facing horizontal like this. And also on the other side. Then now, get your birch trap door and use them like to make a window. Because it looks like the paper windows in Japan, I see an anime, okay? And if you're from Japan who's watching this, correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Please, I don't want to like appear dumb on my audience. And just, yeah, make another one over here in the back. And then just connect them like this. And now make a U-shape using the bone blocks over here. And at the middle, make sure the bone block over here is facing horizontal. And do the same thing on the other side. Now get your birch trap door and yeah, get over here like that. Then now I'm just gonna show you this side first and then copy it on the other side because well they're exactly the same. The same. So now get your strip spruce log and make like the thing again. Okay, I don't really know how to make, I mean, English today. And then there you go, and just connect them. And then now get your bone block, and, wow. Get your bone block, and, yeah, just put them like this, and cover up the sides. Make sure they're facing vertical, again. And then now, you wanna do it like this again. Just make sure it's like the same on the, the front what you made over here like this and now yeah let's just make the other side yeah so this should how your wall look and, and get off your wandering villager i mean wait wandering trader i really don't know minecraft so yeah let's just get on to make the veranda the mini veranda i i should say so yeah in each slab i mean Strip, strip spruce like this you place the ones with out the the thing over here at the top like so and then get your oak fence and place at them two blocks above or I don't know like this and then get your dark oak planks and then just put them at the top so it should be like a mini pillar or is it a pillar or a mini pillar i don't know and you just, just do the same thing also on the other side the back and then now get your get your um dark oak slab and just connect them all around there you go and then now get your oak fence like like this and then place them er for every place one oak fence for every pillar that you see you could see them because it connects to the ground and also at the back because they those are the only space I mean sides that have like a space so now get your oak fence gate like this and then now for the ano, for the veranda just get your dark dark oak fence and then just circle them up the house And except for the stairs because where can you go in the house if you don't if you cover the stairs sorry guys if I really have a bad English today I don't know what's happening to me so now let's make the roof so what you want to do is get your nether brick slab and I'm only gonna show you this on one corner and just copy them on the other four cor corners so place one over here and then on the side then break it 
the break the first one that you made and then just do the same thing on the other side and on, on the upper half of this block make I mean place two over there I keep ca cra cracking my voice <laughs> sorry guys and then just break the other one over here and yeah just do the same things on the other side and so after you have done it it should look something like this and then now for the next part you just want to connect them again around the whole house like so then what you want to do now is get your strip spruce log and for every corner i mean not, not strip spruce log but then the nether stair and just place them on every corner facing each other like so and then i'm just gonna show you again the front part and just copy it on the back portion and then now you want to crouch for the first one the front one I, I mean and then place one over here and then now make i mean place one over here also uh, near the corner it should be facing i mean it should be looking like this also on the other side then do this and also on the other side and also make like an upside down thing like this and it should look like an upside down stair and uh, and then just repeat it over and over again until you reach here like near the block already and also do the same thing on the other side for the middle just place one over here and it should be facing outward and then I go in the inside and then place one over here facing outward and then an upside down one like this and just copy it on this side and yeah guys I forgot you also need to place it like this you, sh you should place the nether brick slab like this also sorry guys I always forget and then yeah, let's just fill in the gap over here because it looks plain and ugly if you leave the gap so right here in the middle there's a three block high strip strip um, spruce log like this and then some bone blocks going three two and one also on the other side going three two and one and yeah it should look something like this and get your nether brick fence you could also use crimson but then because you're using the nether brick i just want to use the nether brick also and also do the same thing on the other side like that then now let's just make the ceiling so let's just do the ceiling first and then just finish the whole roof up so first what you want to do is in the um, I mean above the intersection over here as you can see place a I mean make a line over here like so and then now get your oak slab and make two rows of like like this i don't really know how to english guys sorry for the bad quality content and also for the cracks i just how many times how many times should i crack my voice and then just yeah don't mind that guys and then just do the same thing <laughs> do the same thing on the other side And so now before you cover the whole thing, the, the roof up, just make sure and place two torches over here so no mobs would spawn. So now yeah, let's just finish up the whole roof and get this video over with because I still need to edit this and it will take me a whole eternity to do it.
yeah so just connect the two of the two stairs over here by by using nether brick slabs and now for the finish for the finishing touch of the roof just make the usual roof you see in normal builds and just yeah like a staircase like this so yeah and now for the lighting well you could just go on and skip ahead for the lighting but for me this is how i should design i mean like um place the lighting because well i don't know i'm just gonna teach you and just place two on each side like this and also at the back so no mobs will spawn and probably the or probably creepers to spawn at the back of your house and explode your really hard made build i don't know and then yeah for the inside the inside and then well we already have the pumpkin over there just place one lantern or you could just also place on this side and also this side so yeah that's how i should play i mean that's how you should like place the lighting so anyways guys that's all for the video hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to leave a like on this video and try to a little try to get 10 likes hopefully and yeah subscribe to the channel because i'm gonna make a lot of tutorials in minecraft and also turn the notification bell icon so you'll never miss an upload until next time guys mystic gaming 24 out peace